to the start of the new weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. I have got oh, just the cutest day planned. So Helen Anderson, who is one of my favourite content creators and a friend of mine, messaged me recently on Instagram just being like, do you want to go and like sit and gossip and catch up and knit and crochet? And I was like, Yes, that sounds so cute. So that is what we're doing today. I'm meeting her at Liverpool Street Station at half past 12 and we're going to mooch around, I guess, the Shoreditch area, find somewhere to bunk bunker down and do some knitting and have a good catch up. And I'm, yeah, so excited about this. I really, really want to make some more friends who also knit and crochet. So I'm excited about that. I She can crochet and I can't, but I, th I don't know if she can knit. So maybe we could teach each other some new skills as well. We shall see. I will try to vlog. I always get a bit nervous about vlogging with other content creators, even though that is the most stupid thing in the world. Sorry, I've got fluff on my screen. Talking of knitting, I am wearing my new jumper out for the first time, which means I should probably take my jacket off so I can show you. I haven't worn this leather jacket in a while, so I thought I'd dig it out. I'm like proper leaning into autumnal Halloween gothic vibes today with my outfit not feeling the most colorful i um, just kind of want to be in dark colors but this is my jumper so i just filmed a bit of an after because i took a video of this jumper before i washed it and the shape is so much better now so here she is i can't believe i made this from scratch how good does she look um, she has these really nice details around the increases and then the nice chunky folded collar. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like double knit, which I've never done before. And then this really cool ribbing on the sleeves and a split side, which is just so cool as well. I'm so happy with how this jumper turned out and I'm just so excited to keep on knitting and making garments like I literally can't believe who remembers when I first started talking about knitting it was in January and I posted a picture of my first ever cast on in fact it wasn't my first cast on it was like my fifth attempt at casting a scarf on and I was like this doesn't look right should I keep going or should I start again <laughs> and my friend texted me being like Katie if you want your scarf to look, look like it's got piles then carry on but it shouldn't look like that. So I started again, I kept going, I overcame that hurdle, I taught myself how to do it properly, all from YouTube, like learn all of these skills from YouTube. And now 10 months later, I've just made this. And yeah, I think this is just a good example of if you're passionate about something, if you really wanna learn, don't give up, keep going. And you can learn anything. You can literally learn anything. We live in a time where you can teach yourself any new skill so easily and for free so yeah I'm so happy with this jumper I'm gonna get so much wear out of it and um, there's part of me that doesn't want to wear it today like I can see myself not wearing this very much because I love it so much and I don't want it to get ruined but what's the point making garments if you can't wear them I think I'm gonna have to invest in a good like pilling device like anti-pilling device because the one I have at the moment isn't great and um, this, I, I imagine this could get worn down where I wear my handbag or like under the arms. So I need to finish getting ready. I've packed a bag full of knitting stuff for today. I don't know how much knitting or like stuff will actually get done. We might just end up gossiping and eating, but we shall see. A tahini. I've got a tahini frozen coffee, right, with roast tahini, oat milk, date syrup, black sesame, and it looks like this. I'm with Helen, by the way. I've ordered a normal coffee. You just an oat flour. You disappointed me. Okay, no. Oh, yeah. It's very icy. Oh, me seeds on it, isn't it? For the tahini seeds. What's that? It's, got, it's very nice. Do you want to try some? Got this brain freeze, so be careful with the brain freeze. But yes, you can taste the tahini, you can taste the sesame, oh, taste the coffee. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. that's Quite happy with that. Delicious. Cheers. That's a very good choice.
it is Wednesday. I'm about to do something I'm I'm feeling not anxious about, but I'm feeling the feelings about. Um, so I'm going to a gig tonight. And I'm going by myself. I am going to see one of my like all time favorite bands. They're called Little Comets, and this is their first gig in so long. I've only seen them live once before, and I love their albums. Like their first two albums. Well, in fact, one of their albums I love. And they're doing like a reunion gig where they're playing their first two albums in full in Hoxton. And I am just so excited about it. And I'm going by myself. So I'm going to film a solo date reel tonight. But I thought I'd vlog a tiny bit as well. But I guess I'm vlogging this to, to encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zone. Because I'm sure, even though I'm feeling not anxious, but just apprehensive now I'm sure I'm going to be really really happy that I went so I'm just going to put some lipstick on because my lips are looking so pale right now and get a coat on and then we can go it's also like I hate this time of year where it's just dark so early it was like five o'clock it was pitch black outside it feels a bit more dangerous in the autumn even though it's not any more darker do you know what I mean why is that? She just feels scarier out. Well, it is Halloween tomorrow, so that's probably why. But <laughs> let's um, let's go do this. Okay, I got here way too early, so I've, I went for some food at a restaurant that I've wanted to go to for so long, called Padella, and it was so good. Wait, I'm a bit lost. I don't know, okay, I know where I am now. That's made me feel a little bit more positive. Like I've had a glass of wine. Oh, by the way, this restaurant, Bistro Freddy is so good if you're looking for a nice date night spot. Really recommend. Doors open at the gig now and the gig starts in about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I am gonna go and get in the queue, I guess. Um, well, I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. Future Katie popping in here. I realise I never spoke to you after my solo gig date night. Solo date gig night so i just wanted to pop on here and let you know that it was so good like i knew it would be i'm so glad i didn't let my anxiety like overtake the evening and still went down i ended up having such a great night and i ended up having like three interactions with people that i probably wouldn't have ever even had had i not been by myself so the first interaction was when i went to I went to Padella for some food which was so nice and because it was kind of a busy restaurant I was like <laughs> squeezed in between or like on a bench between some people uh, there was like a, a, a couple of friends next to me like talking away and I was just sat there knitting and anyway I realised that I needed to go but but they had tiramisu on menu the dessert menu and I was so gutted <laughs> that I wasn't like gonna have time for the tiramisu but the girl next to me ordered tiramisu and for some reason I asked if I could take a picture of her tiramisu because it looked so freaking nice it, it looked like one of the nicest tiramisus I've ever seen in a restaurant and I just couldn't leave without asking her if I could take a picture of it and she was so lovely and she she didn't think it was weird at all let me show you oh my god it looked so Oh my god, it looked so good. And then I ended up having getting talking to her and her friend, talking about the solo date night I was having. And her friend was like, oh, I was gonna say it's really cool that you're eating here alone. And yeah, we had a nice chat, which would never happened if I had not been there by myself. Anyway, and then I went to the gig and there was like quite a long queue. I queued, and then someone came running up to me and was like, Oh my god, okay, Snooks. I've been following you since the YouTube days and it was a, the loveliest girl who has just, yeah, been following my journey for so long and it was so, so, so nice to meet her and her sister. We also bumped into each other after the gig finished as well and had a little chat about how the gig was and the band and she was so lovely. Um, 
I'm so, 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 like, I can't express how much I love it when you guys come up and say hi if you ever see me out and about in London. It honestly makes my day. And then the third interaction was, and this is a bit of a, this is, this is a funny one. So I was, like, standing right front, and the, the gig was so busy. It was so packed. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a gig that packed in such a small room. Like, the crowd was, like, going out into the corridor almost it was so packed and because I was stood at the front and I really needed a wee at one point this girl who was kind of standing behind me I saw her leave Maurice Maurice he's meowing at the front door I saw her like start walking like squeezing her way out to go to the toilet. So I followed her out of the venue. M the music was still playing at this point. Um, I followed her out of this crowd and into the toilets. And, and once we got to the loose, I said to her, I'm so sorry, can I follow you on the way back in there? Um, and she was like, oh my God, yeah, of course. And then she was like, are you here with a band? And I was like, oh no, I'm just... I'm just here by myself <laughs> for some reason she thought I was with the band maybe because I was by myself but the fact that she'd been thinking about that was very interesting to me but yeah she was so kind I waited for her when she got out of the loo and then we kind of like held hands on the way back to the front and like she helped me squeeze back to the front which was so lovely and I so appreciate that woman I didn't get to say thank you properly to her but yeah I was so appreciative I don't know, I don't think I would have been able to squeeze my way back through to the front if it hadn't been for her. So I had a lovely evening. I'm so glad I went and highly recommend you guys do the same if you ever fancy a solo date night, gig night, music night, theatre night. It's become one of my like highlights of the year, I think, like pushing myself and doing these little videos. Hello guys, today is Friday. I feel like I've got not a lot to catch you up on, but we've got some stuff to catch you up on. <laughs> so I am home alone again for the next few days. Again, very excited about this. One sec, I've just realised I haven't put any lipstick on. I always do that, it's so annoying. So G's gone to the Lake District with the boys. He does this every year, like, I think every year apart from COVID, they go away to the lakes together and they just like go on walks and get drunk and have fun. And it means that I get to be home alone some more, which I'm very excited about. I'm so happy to say that all, all my dizziness is gone now. I'm feeling like myself for the first time this week in yet yeah, a while. So I'm, I'm like enjoying myself a lot more this time around. Yesterday was Halloween. I had so much fun. I went trick or treating with Jeannie and her cousin, which was just the cutest thing I think I've ever experienced. Jeannie and her cousin, they're just like the cutest little girls together. They like, w they were walking hand in hand and just like nattering away like little old grannies because they're so short. Oh my <laughs> just like chatting away like ab absolute gibberish but it was the cutest thing ever and um, Jeannie dressed up like a little bat and I did some fang makeup on her it was just the cutest I just I can't express how much I love being an auntie I think I love it way more than I thought I would considering I like I've never felt really connected to children before, but Jeannie is just, she's just my favorite thing ever. I love her so much. Um, she's at an age right now where she's just so cute. So yeah, that was really fun. And then me and my parents went to this like Halloween night. Basically the rum brand called Kraken or Kraken, every um, year they, they throw like a Halloween scream fest thing where it's normally like an immersive or like spooky thing. I've never been before, but my parents go and do it every year. And this year we went together and it was like, um they basically like made a museum of like, haunted objects so like some really creepy like mummified things and then some really freaking creepy dolls like dolls that are like 
haunted and pictures that are spooky and haunted and like there have been loads of stories about them there was like a creepy pasta segment of the exhibition which I absolutely loved because I love that kind of like internet lore creepy story stuff and then it ended with like the UK's most haunted picture like painting and I was just I was shitting myself because stuff like that freaks me out but and also being home alone that's just Maurice playing with his toy. Are you playing? You good boy. Yeah, because I'm home alone and I'm like, I'm fine being scared by like, like I'm not scared by serial killers or like people or zombies because they're kind of like people. But I am scared of the paranormal. Like anything ghosts, anything haunted creeps me out. Like the first time I watched um, Maurice. What's that, what's that film? I don't even really want to say it. Paranormal Activity. The first time I watched that, I was just like, I don't think I slept for about a month. G bought me some, um, hello. Why are you focusing over there now? Why are you focusing over there? Is there a ghost? <laughs> I'm over here. Anyway, yeah, me and my parents went and it was so much fun. We had such a good time. Um, and is this for one person or? Two, hundred, four hundred. Maurice, Maurice has got the zoomies. Um, so today is Friday. This week has felt so weird. I think it's because when I met Helen on Tuesday, which was so nice, by the way, we had such a lovely day, just like nattering away and um, knitting and crocheting. So nice to catch up with her. Because that kind of felt like a day off, this week has like felt really weird to me. So I can't believe it's only Friday now. It's a nice Friday. I've just published my What's On in November London newsletter Substack, which is so exciting. There's so much fun stuff going on in London over the next month. So I'm really, really excited for my subscribers on my Substack to read that. Cause I think, um, yeah, there's some really fun stuff going on. This afternoon, I'm going tequila tasting, which, it's got to be really fun because I freaking love tequila and I've never had a tasting. Like, I don't know what I should be tasting out for when I taste tequila. Tequila is like one of my favourite spirits. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then come home and then I'm probably just going to sign off work and have a kind of early start to the weekend. Although I'm probably not going to get home till five. And that's kind of the end of the work day anyway. But yeah, either way, I'm looking forward to a weekend at home by myself. I'm going out again with my parents tomorrow night. We're going to see like a haunted aerial circus show in Hoxton. That'll be really fun. But apart from that, tomorrow all day, I just want to sit and knit and play video games. So excited. I am wearing some old smart trousers that I absolutely love. Did I get these taken up? I think I got these taken up at the tailors. They're so nice, I think originally Zara. Oh my God, my flies are all really undone. Sorry about that. Whoop. And then I'm wearing this top that I got from a charity shop. I wanna say like four years ago now with just a little white t-shirt underneath. Cozy, it feels so cold in my house. I actually should turn the heating on. I turn it off when G left. It was too hot, but now it's actually too cold. 